Hello, hello, and welcome to Stella's Tarot. Um, we're doing your LSD reading. That's your love, your sex, and your duality with your partner. Um, so basically, a little something I like to say from get go and jump. A new idea is pro-choice to creativity, stability, and change. The perseverance has confidence in the advancement to attain one's completion. If you know, you know, right? All right. So basically, let's start off with a little bit of tunes here for you. Forgive me guys, because like I do every editing myself. So yeah. Alright. Get it right about there. Alright, so I'm using the Prisma Visions Tarot, as you can see. And um I had to do this reading over because I was told that you couldn't hear me clearly, so I'm trying to make sure that this one's all good. Um in your last reading, you you had horrible love energy. Like you just broke up with somebody. You're mentally going through it. You're trying not to. You don't want to worry on your money. You know what I mean? Um. In your April reading, is saying that uh, you kind of like stuck up in a house with somebody, but you're necessarily not like wanting to be with that person. Um, you're doing the damn thing, but it's not really a focus. You know more of a lusty kind of situation going on but let's see what the cards have today all right i'll make sure because i've had a uh, comment saying i have to fully see me shuffle and all this good stuff so you know all right cut one good time all right on the line the sun the greatest energy you could possibly have so maybe it's a little bit of change in your love life now we'll see what's up or how it goes this all thing good you know nurturing feeling a good vibey flow feeling you understand so let's see now i gotta take that oh i'll take those though yeah see it, okay we'll see you got one more Okay, it's kind of similar to the last one. Alright, so you have the Ten of Swords, you have the High Priestess, and you have Strength. So now the Ten of Swords, we already know, because last time it was like the Tower in Reverse. It was, I mean, I would have to look at it again. Anyway, so with the Ten of Swords, you just wanted the completion of the thought process of whatever the hell that person put you through. Because they put a couple of swords in your back, and it's like... You were just so over it. Now it wasn't like a long term type thingy. It's probably like recent. You know? Uh, we got the high priestess here. We have strength. So, with the high priestess, it's like you were probably confused. They were probably cheating on you, had you in a, a third party situation. Um, I call the high priestess like a good energy for me, but like in this yard for some reason, I call it my whole yard because it's like. it. If you could see it yourself, it's like. You ate the first one, you wasn't even finished with the second one, but you're already on to the third, and you're not even satisfied with that one, you're still going on to the next one, you know? So, hold on, because this thing's on. Right? You know, that's my opinion, it's like a wanderlust. It's like a good person, but they still got their eye focused on something else. You know? But it's probably a mysterious situation, they probably had you confused. You need to find strength, two major arcanas here. Um... It was probably an air sign that got you caught up. Probably a Leo. Yeah. Give you a cancer. Yeah. I know. Um, kind of put you through a situation. You, so that it was an open door, but it wasn't exactly what you wanted. So it's kind of like you're curious if you really wanted to go control, like to fall into the deep hole with them, you know? Because, like, that's probably been a mind game that's been, like, going on for the longest. You probably just figured it out, got the new awareness from it, and you realize, like, yo, I can't take this person, you know? All right. Let's go to your sex. Because it said you was... Oh, look at that. I'm for you. Make sure. Gotta make sure. 
It was saying that you was getting a, a couple COVID and chilling there. Like, oh, you nasty. I mean, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Take a little peek into it again. All right, things kind of low key calming down, but kind of still bossing up. So everybody's stuck in the house, and I'm sorry if you're still stuck. Um, if you're an essential, much love to you. Thank you for going out there. Um, I don't know how deep you went to tarot. Uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Uh, Astro Queen, you missed. Um, if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Shout out to hopefully she come back. Oh, gosh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, truly missed love. Right. Let's get back on our good note. So, for your sex life, April. No, forget yeah, freaking spray. You know what I mean? You can't be saying certain stuff on the tool, bro. If you're doing your damn thing, much love to you. Come on. I need you guys for this person. Oh, thank you. I see a lock in. Uh, temperance. Okay, okay. Major account. Let's see. Come on, soon on. Okay. I'm gonna try one more time. After this one. <laughs> if I don't get nothing, okay. I was like, wait. This one came out first. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Underline. Tree of Swords. Third party situation. You ain't really trying to fuck with this person on a long term basis. Probably just getting it in for the current moment. You know what I mean? Um. Temperance here, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Alright, so y'all sharing a good little drink, you know, probably lights off, COVID and chill, Netflix asking you if you're still there. I mean, doing the damn thing. She's probably a flowy person if you get what I'm saying. Um, Seven of Swords in Reverse, right? Hmm. So, probably one of y'all didn't have confidence at the beginning when y'all was doing the damn thing. Um... She probably got that vice grip. I see a look right here coming up true. But the seven of swords is a mental thought, so probably you stepped into the situation. Uh, he probably gave you the ooh up the veil, and you didn't realize it was coming, but you're still in there. Tree of swords at the back of them, so it's like you ain't really trying to mess with them long term. You're enjoying it for now. The temperance, the temperance, hmm. The temperance is inspiration, so probably they inspire you. It's probably somebody you work with. You're trying to keep it on a low low. Um. Yeah, yeah, she's probably on the flow if you get what I'm talking about. See how those two cups are just filled with water. Alright. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Wait, are you fucking your boss? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on now. Um, okay, wait. I'm just busy now. With the Nine of Pentacles, it look like, yeah, you just trying to get your bread. You ain't worried about it. You enjoying the little, the little nights and stuff with your boy boy, but, uh, you focused on your bread. Um, homie probably got you slipping. That's probably why you packing. And he was like, oh, yeah, hit you with the Uwap the Ville message. Um, chat, see? Look. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to, I still want to, like, Clarify this seven of swords. Oh, no, come on now. Present moment. All right, Queen of Wands. Let's see now. Queen of Wands with that type of energy. It's patient in your head. You was, you was, yeah, they probably had you kind of like thinking about it for a while. Did y'all flirt a lot before it even happened? Got a lusty situation going on there. Like, you mess with them, but they're not really there. You see, kind of, it's like... It's like the person's there. Right? But if you look closer, it's like a shadow that's not there. Kind of gripping them. This person's probably a freak. I love tools in their bag. You see right there? Mm hmm Caught your ass by surprise, too. Eh. Let's see one more time. King of Pentacles. Yeah, man. You're just worried about your bread. It's like it is what it is. You're doing the damn thing. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. But after the ooh up the veil, he's back to these pentacles. 
I see you. Nurturing yourself, too. Uh, yeah, I probably like to do it outside, too. To be honest. Yeah. Money makes you horny, baby. Alright. Alright. Excuse me, I'm gonna get a next one soon. It's just for the current moment. I kinda like it for Yeah. Alright, so you do have to partner. Uh -huh. Hmm. Light of hands. Interesting. You want them to take action? Or they're not taking action mentally with you? Are you with it for the stick or the or the lip? Or like is the person not too intelligent or on your level? You are a very wise lion. You know? Let's see. Time. Now I don't peel the top. Two, three, four. It's funny because that already just came out. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Appreciate you. Just wanted to come out when you wanted to. Uh, this came this way, so yeah. Tough new beginning. Um, you already had the seven of swords, right? Just right? No. Okay. Let's get into it. So. At one time with your partner, you wasn't confident. Huh. You wasn't confident mentally with them. Or their mental wasn't on a level you were confident with. A death is a new beginning. So, it's a major arcana. Swords is air. We have uh, earth signs up here, air and earth signs up here. But with this death card. Hmm. So you transition from that mindset. Ah, okay. So you answered your own question. Um, you went through a situation with that person, putting you through third-party situations. There's probably a narcissistic fuck, and just like always had like a double story to what they like a backup to you know just in case. And you got out that mindset. You got a new beginning and you change your mindset off of love and you focus on your pentacles. Yeah, it's just you're trying to build your bread. Like, you're trying to... You probably just got over this. I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm going to put all my effort into building my bread and taking care of the situation I need to take care of. You know, I fully dig that, you King of Chalices on the bottom. And it seems that with patience you will attain your full cup yeah just don't let it weigh on your head with that crown the way you're supposed to you know shout out that raw if you're asking me if you're gonna have good duality with your partner I'm gonna say this one's a no you're not even worried about them you're worried about your bread Keep your hustle up, do the damn thing, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.